My camping days, climbing Mount Fuji, Part One. Text by Sato Asayo. Pictures by Naito Sachi. English translation by Keiko Nogami. Voice by Akemi Misaki. Complied under the supervision of Kianomori Nature School. Today, a three-day camping begins. Its main program is climbing Mount Fuji. Is there anything behind? My rucksack is filled with various things provided against any case. Please close to warm myself, rain wearer in case of wet weather, spare pants and socks for a change, two plastic bottles of water because it's indispensable, a pair of gloves to protect my hands while climbing rocks, towels, underwears, and so on. Wow, it's so heavy! I wonder if I can carry it on my back and walk. I'll stick it out. Leaving our school and spending one and a half hours in the bus, we finally got to the halfway point of Mount Fuji. I'm shivering. Oh, I feel cold. Outside the bus. It was surprisingly cold. Now, let's have a warm up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. From the halfway point to the next stage, we began to walk slowly. Wow, a lot of green trees. Look there, what's that? It's a Japanese zero. It may be fated to die soon, because it came down here, leaving its flock. Oh, I see. It dies alone and unknown. Passing the sixth stage, green trees are all gone, and the mountain path turns completely stony. Working for a while. We got to be surrounded with white clouds. We seen walking in the clouds. I'm eating this cloud. Look like cotton candy. It tastes good. Me too. I'm eating it. But suddenly, dark clouds were gathering from nowhere, and it began to rain. I hurried to put on my rainwear. After a while, it stopped raining, but the sky got dark. At seventh stage, a steep slope starts. Step by step, holding the rocks with our hands, we go up carefully. To get to the cottage where we stay tonight, I'll stick it out. Climbing rocks was a little scary, but after the steep stairs, we arrived at the cottage, which stood at the highest part of the seventh stage. It was already dark around there. Inside the cottage, taking off our wet clothes and shoes, we changed them for dry ones. It was my first time to do such a mountain climbing. So I got to be a little worried about it. I want to see my mom. At dinner, my friend K was nodding off while eating. Well, we will go up to the top tomorrow. You must be very tired today, so have a good sleep tonight. Much more walk tomorrow. I said to myself, "I was so tired that I got into the sleeping bag, and fell asleep soon." While sleeping, I dreamed that I reached the top with an ant.
Our mountain guide dried our wet rainwear and gloves by kerosene heater in the basement so that we could get to the top with a good outfit the next day. At night, I wanted to go to the restroom. I go for pee. Okay, I'll go together with you. A strong wind was blowing. I walked to the restroom outside, hand in hand with a grown up, not to be swept away. Outside of the cottage, thousands of stars were seen in the whole sky. Wow, it's a sea of stars! 